All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen out there in the digital world, welcome to Fridays from the Funky Uncle Lounge. My name is Soul Stu, and it is a pleasure to be standing here with you once again to bring you another great night of music from deep in the heart of New Orleans. We'd like to thank our friends, our good sponsors over at Moses Engineering. We'd like to thank our friends at the Fat Banker Social Aid and Pleasure Club for helping us do this. Of course, the crew of Tux. We got our main man, Frenchie, up here. He's going to be painting everything tonight. And of course, not last, but definitely not least, this fantastic group of musicians standing in front of us. We've got the great Papa Molly with his band on deck. So excited to have him here. I've been seeing this gentleman play for a long time, and he's never disappointed me. So I know you guys are going to dig it. So get comfortable wherever you are. Get your mind right. Call up your friends. Tell them to tune in. Wash your hands and stomp your feet. Hit it, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is one called The Girls in Bossier City. Just 
Jockey's on the ride in the car. Girls in Motor City. Drive it to the graveyard for a long. And ride you like a diamond. Ride you like a diamond. they're listening we appreciate your support so much it's kept uh, a lot of us musicians going in a time when we thought pretty much our professional lives were over for a while um, fortunately because of the funky uncle has this space where we can all safe distance from each other at least six feet apart and uh, all that's allowed in the building is the band and the video crew and everybody's being super careful we were all wearing masks. Um, Cass is still wearing a mask. I was wearing one up until the time we went live a few minutes ago, and I had to sing into the microphone. This is my own microphone, by the way, which I brought from home. <laughs> so we're being real careful, you know. We take this stuff seriously. We hope all of you do, too, and are doing a good job of keeping yourselves healthy and safe and sane. 
some days feel kind of crazy, don't they? Man. Um, but uh, everybody be careful and have a good time tonight. This is the great Russ Broussard on drums. I just couldn't be happier to have, have him in my presence, in my space tonight. One of the finest drummers in New Orleans, or anywhere for that matter, and uh, a good buddy of mine. And, and of course, Cassandra Falcon and I go way back. We go, we've been, we, we toured like, what, 15, 16 years ago together, something like that. And uh, so we go way back. She played on my last record. This is a thrill for me to be able to play with real musicians on electric instruments with professional sound and lighting and uh, three camera shoot. So thanks again to everybody, all right? Please keep supporting this so that musicians like us can keep doing this, okay? Thank you. I'm gonna do the title track of my second record. This is called Do Your Thing, written by Mr. Isaac Hayes. Something to say, talk to the all the way. Rap bow, rap bow, bow. But no matter what you do, you gotta do your thing. You gotta do your thing. Steve. Somebody, Somebody scream. scream! And if you feel like you want to sing, cause that's your thing, you can sing along with me. If you want to make love all night, and the feeling is right, then ride on, baby. But no matter what you do, you got to do your thing.
of somebody must leave. I can't say it in a first degree. First degree, yes, second degree. You got to pay for what we don't need. Took my downtown and tell them black. Put me on train and carry me back. Put me back in the middle of the jail. I had no money for to go my bed, but I had no money for to go my bed. Early in the morning. 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 Where the judge and the jumper that took the stand. The judge had the papers in his right hand. Don't let the case take me down there. And I'm timid, I'm bound to be on the feet. Put me down and dress me in black. Put me on the chain, carry me back. Put me back and I'm in a good chill. And I ain't no money for the for my baby. The judge and the jumper that took the stand. The judge had the papers in his right hand. For the one day, said for the one night, said for the one yes, the one of all the strength. The judge had the papers in his right hand. Took the stand, took the stand. For the one day, for the one night. Follow one you with a ball and stop the one early in the morning. Woo! Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Whoa, it was early in the morning. It was early in the morning. Until those days come back, we're lucky to have a place like this and musicians like these that are so kind to come in here and jam for us. We hope you're feeling it out there in the digital world, wherever you are. And of course, we are raising money for our local musicians through our funk fund. Please donate if you can so we can keep on bringing in great bands like this to bring this uh, wonderful music to you live and direct because we feel that live music is an essential service and one that New Orleans does best. So we're happy to do that for you. My name is Soul Stew. Got to thank the guys who make this all happen. Our hardworking crew in here all day, ma days before, making it look good, making it sound good, wiping everything down to make it all look safe. Got lucid lighting. Got New Orleans video production and accurate audio to thank for that. So got our good friend Frenchie up here making some beautiful uh, artwork, captivating the moment, uh, capturing this captivating moment like only he can do. So we are uh, very happy to have him. We'll be auctioning that off as well to raise money for our local musicians. So thank you to everyone who's tuning in. Drop us a line in the comments. Let us know where you're at. Got to give a shout out to our friend Addie, who was supposed to be here tonight, but she broke her toe. So unfortunately, the injury took her down. Sorry about that, Addie. Got to give a shout out to our friends Keith and Steph out there in Easy Green, Colorado. Shout out to our man, Floozy J. Floozcified behind the scenes, helping out with things. And of course, all you people listening, wherever you may be, say what's up. Drop us a line. And of course, remember to wash your hands and stomp your feet. This is one I had the great had pleasure. Great pleasure. Of writing with the the Reverend Goat Carson, the late Reverend Goat Carson. I know all y'all that live here in New Orleans remember him. What a character! He was our local shaman, medicine man guy for a long time. You know, and I don't I don't say that in a lighthearted way. I mean, he was really the real deal. <laughs> he also co-wrote a lot of songs with Dr. John, including ones that ended up on a, one of his Grammy-winning albums. You know. Was legit, he was legit, and he was our friend, and uh, and this one, he helped me write this one at a time when I really needed a little bit of sp spiritual guidance and, and hope and faith, and I know a lot of us these days need a little bit of that, you know, so I'm sending out to everybody that's uh, sitting at home and feeling like they could use a little bit of spiritual hope and faith, because, uh, you know, 
I'm not a particularly particularly like religious person in the in the sense of the word that like I've never really gone to church that much. But when I play music with my friends, when I'm out in Mother Nature, when I feel the love of my fellow human beings, I feel like that's church, and I feel like it's God. And I, I know a lot of you feel the same way. And whatever your spiritual path is, as long as it helps you along the way, that's all that matters. Uh, this is one called Make a Way, because we're going to try to make a way out of these dark times, out of this situation. <laughs> Make a way, Lord, make a way. Make a way, make a way. I'm on my knees, I'm praying, Lord. Make a way for me today. Make a way, Lord, make a way. Make a way, Lord, make a way. Make a way, oh, make a way.
what happens we still got rock and roll
in my head and I felt like getting high My favorite tune is Neil Young's After the Gold Rush, but I've never heard it uh, done quite like that. So thank you all so much for uh, for that and all the other tunes. It sounded great. This has just been a, uh, a, a swampy, psychedelic, fiery night here at the Funky Uncle Lounge. It's hot and sweaty in this place, if, uh, if y'all can't tell by seeing us, but uh, it's all good. You know, it feels like a good old sweaty New Orleans nightclub, which we all miss so much. So anyway, those mushrooms are really kicking in, man. Those <laughs> right. mushrooms are really kicking in. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the flashback, Malcolm. That's good. Anyways, we're live at the Funky Uncle Lounge. My name is Soul Stew, and I'd like to thank Papa Molly for being here. Of course, our friend Frenchie's up here painting. We'll be auctioning that off. We are raising funds for our funk fund to help our local musicians here in town, and so we can keep on bringing great musicians like this in here to play. Speaking of bringing these musicians into play, we've got our good friend, Mr. Howard Moses from Moses Engineering, one of our very kind sponsors here with us. How you doing, Howard? I'm doing great tonight. What a, what a great show. Thank you, oh, Papa man. Molly and Trio. Y'all are killing it. Thank y'all so much for helping us pull this off, man, because I would not want to miss out on this. this no, is this is great. It's wonderful to be able to give back and feel some live music for the first time in Absolutely. a while. It Absolutely. It really feels good. That's one of the, the most special things about the Funky Uncle and something that, uh, you know, Malcolm was saying earlier on stage is how, you know, when the when bands come in here, they haven't, um, haven't seen each other and definitely haven't played together in, you know, months, weeks. And especially with, you know, real electrified instruments and to be able to get all these great players together and uh, share it with the world is a really special thing that we get to do here. So Absolutely. Uh, we know that y'all feel that, and that's why you chose to sh show some support. And, and you guys do a great job, video, audio, everything, lights, Absolutely. Frenchies. Got a great crew in here. Everybody gets a, you know awesome job. It and looks great on, you know, out there in TV world. And where else in the world are you going to see a live show, full band set up in a Mardi Gras fort then? So, you know, we've definitely got that unique New Orleans flavor to it. Well, Howard, we appreciate you and Moses Engineering for all your help. I'm glad we could be here. Absolutely. You guys have fun. Papa Molly, you guys rock on. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Appreciate the band for doing their thing. Now, later on, Malcolm and I, Papa Molly, we're going to sit up on the top of the float, and we're going to do an interview. We're going to sit down, tell old stories, you know, share old war tales. I'm going to pick his brain some. We've been friends for many years, so there's going to be some, uh, some good ones. So definitely stay tuned for that. In the meantime, give it up for Papa Molly and friends, y'all, live from the Funky Uncle. Wash your hands and stomp your feet.
I think we're going to do two more songs. And uh, just uh, once again, we've had a great time tonight. Thanks, everybody, for supporting this because it really means a lot to all the musicians, not just me and my crew here, which is, by the way, once again, Cassandra Falconer on bass. Russ Broussard on the drums. And in case you're just tuning in, I'm Papa Miley.
I gotta tell just a little story while I tune up. I got a lot of stories, but this is a very cool one. I don't know if this camera can see this or not. Maybe I'll hold it right there. It says, here's what it says. It says, uh, Hendrix Shreveport Strap. And then on the inside, it tells the tale about in the Municipal Auditorium where Jimi Hendrix played in 1968. Yeah, for real. Okay. So this is my brand new guitar strap that I wore. This is the first time I've worn it on this gig. Yep, debuted it on the Funky Uncle. And of course it goes great with the white Strat, which was a Hendrix thing too, you know. But here's the, here's the killer. I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn the echo off for this. Um, in 1968, I was 11 years old. Axis Bolded as Love had just come out. I was already like, I'd played Are You Experienced? to death. I was already a guitar player from the time I was six years old and uh, was just totally crazy in love with Hendrix and his guitar style. I got tickets to that show in Shreveport, Louisiana. I was supposed to go with my brother. It was all set. My mom was going to let me go even though I was only 11 years old because it was with, with my older brother who was, who was 18. Well, as fate would have it, about a week before the show, some friends of mine talked me into shoplifting, and I got caught, and I got busted, and I, I got grounded and couldn't go to the show. But my brother did go to the show, and he ended up meeting Hendrix and going to the after party at the Holiday Inn at the, by the airport and, uh, and actually drinking tequila with Jimi Hendrix. And... I would have been with him if it hadn't been for those stupid ass friends of mine. <laughs> so, well, I don't know. I have no idea. But uh but the here's the here's the deal is that I ended up being a guitar player and and just a few weeks ago I found this reproduction of this guitar strap that Hendrix wore in Shreveport at that concert. How crazy is that? This is a crazy world we live in. So, it's it's a bear, it's basically a terrible compensation for the fact that I could have seen him, could have met him, but yeah, exactly, but but still, it's something, so I'm holding on to it, you know, and I debuted it here tonight, I hope y'all like it, and uh, as, a, as, a, as a little tribute, we're going to do a song by Jimi Hendrix, and I hope I don't screw it up, <laughs> I just thought it was cool that the Hendrix estate thought it was important enough to call it the Shreveport Strap. It's actually called that. You can see it on the label right there. Because, you know, I grew up in Shreveport thinking that Shreveport was like the shittiest place in the whole world. And of course, all my New Orleans friends remind me about that all the time, but <laughs> I'm Papa Molly. <laughs> All in the boxes And the clowns live on 
gone to bed. You can hear happiness staggering on down the street. Footprints just getting red. And the wind whispers merry. A broom is dreary sweeping up the broken pieces of yesterday's life. Somewhere a queen is weeping. Somewhere a king has no wife. And the wind cries Mary. Emptiness down on my bed. The tiny islands they float on down the stream. Cause the life they live in is dead. And the wind screams merry. wisdom it was for no this will be the last and the wind cries merry How about right. that, Good Joe? night, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all. I almost had to dry, dry my eyes after that one. Papa Molly, Cassandra Falconer, Russ Broussard. Thank y'all so much for coming in here and playing for us here at the Funky Uncle Lounge. Thanks to everyone who's tuned in, everyone who's donated to our Funk Fund. Couldn't have done this without our sponsors, Mr. Howard Moses and Moses Engineering. Thank you so much for your generous support. Thank you so much to our crew. Lucid Lighting, New Orleans Video Production, Accurate Audio, y'all are the bomb. Everyone out there in the digital world, thank you all so much. It's going to be a very special night. Malcolm and I, Papa Molly, are actually going to do a live interview after this. We're going to go up to the top of my Mardi Gras float here, hang out, tell stories. Been seeing this dude play for about 18 years, so we, we might have a few tales to tell. So you definitely want to stick around for that. Then afterwards, we're going to have Colin Davis and Night People come play the late night set here at the Funky Uncle Lounge. So yeah, y'all don't go anywhere. Y'all keep hanging out with us. Once again, thanks to everyone who's tuned in and everyone who showed their support. We are trying to uh, you know, raise funds to help our local musicians, so please donate if you can. Shake in that digital tip jar. Appreciate all the love we've gotten. We want to keep bringing great musicians like this to your eardrums and your eyeballs. So thank you for all the love. And once again, thank you to this fantastic band, Papa Molly and Friends. Just, oh, fantastic. And thank you to our dear friend, Frenchie, for painting all this uh, wonderful, glorious music that we saw in front of us tonight. It's been a wonderful night here at the Funky Uncle, and it's not over yet. So stay tuned for Colin Davis tonight, people, after we have Sitting In With Soul Stew, me and Papa Molly, chewing the fat together. In the meantime, y'all know what to do. Wash your hands and stomp your feet.